Hey everyone, sorry about the chimes, but it's the way it is. Um, so this is an actually uh, 3D printed um, bell siphon. And I wanted to see if I could actually get this thing to work. Um, so I 3D printed it. That pipe and everything and the nuts are 3D printed. There's a leak because I didn't do a seal on that um, bottom, but I just wanted to see if this would work. Um, so as this gets closer to the top, I have a tiny, tiny pump right now, but as this gets closer to the top, I will see uh, if it fires. Um, I basically was thinking of this because I have a fish tank at my office and I wanted to have some house plants and stuff in there. And my aquaponic system does really well. So I figured I would do, you know, just for house plants, maybe um, aquaponics at my office with some, you know, fancier pots uh, instead of Tupperware, <laughs> fancier pots. I'll drill the glass or whatever it is and see if I can grow house plants there at the office. Um, and the reason for that is because it'll clean the water from the fish, but it'll also um, grow any plants that I want uh, growing on my desk. So this would be like a desktop version. So as this starts to go and get closer, I will uh, show you guys. Uh, we'll see together if it fires. One of the things that I will have to pay attention to would be water displacement. Um, obviously the tank that I have in my office is going to be bigger than this one, but it's not much bigger. I mean, it's, I think a 12 by 12 cube. It's an, it's a miniature tank. So water displacement would be, uh, a, kind of an issue, but I can do a tiny sump tank as well and hide all that away. That way the water level never changes in my fish tank. So, and then just put the pump in the, uh, sump tank and have it going to the grow the grow pots i'm running this one off of a nine volt battery this is just an experiment you guys honestly this is what i i like doing with my quarantine life <laughs> i like that it's 3d printed you know because i can 3d print tons of these things and i like that it's miniature so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I mean, if you like this kind of thing, so I can do more videos like this. All right, there we go. It definitely fired. Draining pretty quick as well. This would be so your roots, you know, um, your roots of your plants don't sit in water. Let's see if it breaks the siphon here. Come on. Yeah, wow, that broke quick too. Okay, and so now it's just gonna refill. If I can hold the thing down properly, there we go. So yeah, it'll just keep refilling. I mean, I'd have a, a motor that I'd plug into my, my outlet, but basically, um, It'll keep refilling this pot with fish water and the plants will eat nitrates and then the, uh, you know, and then it'll drain. And as it drains, floods and drains, floods and drains, the plant will grow, which means it'll eat more nitrates and it'll clean the water for your fish. So there's a dual purpose for this. It's to grow the plants so that um, you'll be able to do this in your office. And then it'll also clean the water for your fish tank. That way you don't have to do water changes as often. Um, a lot of times you have to do water changes with fish tanks is because nitrates can build up to a toxic level. Um, usually, generally speaking, uh, nitrates aren't that bad for fish, but they can get bad. Um, so you wanna do water changes. Um, but with this, they will the plants will be eating the nitrates. So you want it to do changes as much. So. Anyway, I thought I'd share this guys with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, I mean, I can do lots of things with this. So, But if you want to see more videos like this, yeah, let me know in the comment section, you guys. And if you have any ideas, even let me know. Or if you want to see where to get the STL for this. Uh, I had to remake this STL because it wouldn't print very easy um, without supports. Um, so now I'm printing it, uh, without supports because of the modifications that I made. So, 
Uh, anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace.